get more knowledge and experience. And I would say throughout my 25 years of experience, all the knowledge that I've gained when I was in my early career in audit firms really helped me through uh, my journey, you know, in accounting profession. Mm -hmm. And so this is, I think, very, very much valuable. Mm -hmm. So when we look at our career development, is we have to look at it long term. Yes, definitely. Yeah, uh, long term. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's why it's very important to gain uh, as much as knowledge and experience uh, while you are younger. Mm -hmm. okay? And but having said that, um, from after all those years, mm -hmm. all my friends who started with me uh, 25 years ago, uh, they're doing well and they have, uh, I think, balanced career and family life. Mm -hmm. You know, um, many of them they have balanced career and family life, which means that well, we've gone through that path, we've done that, but uh, we're still intact, you know, as a person. Uh, you know, I, for, for, for myself, I have seven children who I brought up, you know, through, I brought up throughout my career. Okay. So, which means that uh, you need to plan your time properly, you need to uh, manage your, uh, your, your work, your family, and balance it up. And it's not impossible. Mm -hmm. So, but at the end of the day, after 25 years, I am really uh, glad that I started my career in the audit firm mm -hmm. uh, and later on in the public listed companies because that both, I think, uh, give me a lot of knowledge and experience to start with. Yeah. So with regards to that, uh, this is where the service of an accountant will change in tandem uh, with the change of business environment. Mm -hmm. So if you look at the businesses now and compared to 25 years ago, you can easily cite or quote uh, you know, things like e-commerce that you mm -hmm. probably have not found in 1993. Mm -hmm. So when your business environment is changing, so the businesses, they are actually clients of the audit firms. Mm -hmm. So the audit firms will change, you know, uh, in accordance with the change of the ecosystem. Mm -hmm. So that's why I think you can see now that uh, firms are also adopting technology in what they're doing. And I think there are more of uh, methodologies that uh, are probably uh, different. Uh, but <clears throat> the basic foundation or basic contribution of independent uh, audit opinion uh, is actually still the foundation of the external audit. Mm -hmm. You know, giving an independent audit opinion on the appropriateness of the fair representation of financial statements. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, but uh, I think change is here to stay. And uh, not only auditors, Everyone and every profession in the world is changing uh, in line with the change of the scenario or you know the ecosystem. Mm -hmm. So uh, this is where, in terms of the auditing profession, when their clients are changing, they are also making uh, all the initiatives to enhance their processes, to enhance their quality, and to enhance their methodology. So huge adoptions of technology, for example, you may have read uh, big f large firms, uh, you know, now using what they call, uh, you know, like blockchain mm -hmm. or they're using IBM Watson mm -hmm. and they're using robotic process automation. Mm -hmm. And think about, for example, in Malaysia, mm -hmm. uh, there are many plantations. Mm -hmm. So if you need to do uh, you know the audit of the inventory mm -hmm. okay so in the past uh, you may have to take the boat and to go to the plantation areas mm -hmm. probably remote area in, yes, yes. in Borneo for example mm -hmm. uh, but now with technology such as drone it mm -hmm. make it much easier you know for them to look at inventory or to look at certain area where they can use technology as drone and already I think audit firms are using that. And also 
pretty similar with the audit working papers. Mm -hmm. In the past, when I was uh, an auditor 25 years ago, I remember carrying a very big bag with yes. all the uh, audit files. files but now they only carry a, you know, a light laptop because it's everything electronic working mm -hmm. papers. So I, might, I would say that the younger generation of auditor, they are very fortunate because you are accessible to technology that we were not accessible when we were younger. So, mm -hmm. but uh, of course they have different challenges, mm -hmm. you know, they have challenges in terms of cyber security and all mm -hmm. that. And during our time, we don't have that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but I think most importantly, it's important to be adaptive to changes. And mm -hmm. we, all of us, it's very important for us to be adapt adaptive to changes. So that is one thing that I think is, they need to, to embrace. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, the technical knowledge, uh, mm -hmm. of course, you know, uh, not different. The, no, the technical knowledge are not different from what we need to know then mm -hmm. and now. Of course, uh, we need to know all the auditing standards, mm -hmm. the accounting standards, mm -hmm. you know, the techniques for audit, mm -hmm. uh, you know, and we need to know all the assertions uh, the and the uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, management assertions and how do you actually perform your opinion. So those are the technical bit of that. Mm -hmm. But on top of that, I think it's very important for them to, to, to have a good understanding of the business mm -hmm. and the ecosystem. Mm -hmm. uh, be, this is because uh, business and ecosystem, the rate of change is very rapid. Mm -hmm. So if you are in university now, five years from now when you graduated, you may not see you may see a different business uh, altogether uh, in your client, you know, uh, at your client premises. Mm -hmm. So, and perhaps, for example, I can quote Faith. Faith, F-A-V-E, uh, previously known as Groupon. During my time, I don't think uh, there was such a company. Mm -hmm. But, you know, now, if you look at business of Faith or Groupon, you have to understand what exactly is their revenue generator? Mm -hmm. You know, so understanding the business is very important. Mm -hmm. So in that respect, there is only so much thing that they can learn in university. Probably is to understand, uh, you know, the, the system and the process and what brings revenue and what not. Mm -hmm. But when they graduate, they have to understand the business at that time. Mm -hmm. So on that part, it is very important that they, uh, they should always have this mindset of continuous learning. Mm -hmm. You know, That's continuous true. learning and be adaptive to change. Mm -hmm. And this is also very interesting discussions that we've had. Uh, in Because we uh, always hold what we call round table with uh, a few parties, for example, with all the those in technology space and round table with... Uh, employers mm -hmm. and we ask them those questions uh, now they may need an accounting uh, professionals who knows how to do coding but uh -huh. five to ten years from now you know they may not need it anymore mm -hmm. so they may need a different skill you know mm -hmm. so this is where I think uh, the most important thing is the mindset of continuous learning be adaptive to change and on top of that the other soft skills that's more needed now would be ability to communicate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so ability to communicate in uh, probably written skill or writing skill and uh, verbal skills, as well as you know communicating through media, various type of media like social media, mm -hmm. and communicating into you know in the organization itself, what we call interpersonal skills mm -hmm. and inter-organizational skills. So communication is becoming more important because uh, the accounting professionals who have the data or the, 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 the knowledge of the financial statements of an, and all the uh, outcome of the business need to communicate to the business communities. Mm -hmm. uh, the right information about the, the results of the organization. Mm -hmm. So and so communicating to technical jargons to uh, non-accounting people mm -hmm. 
so that they understand what you're trying to say. So this is, I think, skills that's much more needed now. Uh, and uh, because at the end of the day, I think with the rapid change as well as competitive environment, everyone wants things fast. They want information fast. And